Hello Leo, welcome to your reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Leo, this is a collective message for your sign, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Let's see Leo, what do we have for you today? What do we have for Leo at this time, please? So we have Nine of Swords, Magician, the Moon, okay, Seven of Wands, Ace of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Cups, and Four of Wands, wow. At the bottom of the deck, we have a Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so Leo, you might be dealing with Pisces. I also have Virgo, Gemini, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, and your energy, Leo. So you might be dealing with another Leo, okay? We have Nine of Swords, the Magician, the Moon, Seven of Wands. I see that kind of energy of uncertainty if something here will manifest the way you want to. I'm seeing, you know, the moon with the seven of wands, I feel that you're kind of trying to be very optimistic and you're trying to kind of explain it to yourself that, you know, oh, I have nothing here to worry about. Even if there is, a, a, at the moment, I feel some sort of kind of form of uncertainty regarding certain situation, um, I'll be fine. I feel that you're trying to convince yourself and, and uh, I can tell you one thing that absolutely, you're absolutely right. You have nothing here to worry about because you have that will of fortune here. Nine of Swords suggests that um, there is some sort of form of uncertainty with the moon as well. But it's like an anxiety, stress, worry. For some of you, this is some sort of kind of situation here. Um, I'm getting that gossip might be involved. Someone, it's like, I feel that someone... You might have experienced a situation here that someone was gossiping about you with this magician that tried to project some sort of kind of false reality and with the seven of wands i feel that you stood up for yourself you said something here and you've kind of said no that's not true or i i don't appreciate you talking you know about me that way but it doesn't mean that with the Nine of Swords, it, 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 it didn't bring that kind of energy of uncertainty and stress and anxiety. And the fact that we have those, you know, eyes around here, it's like someone wanted to kind of wanted you to get like a wrong attention. I feel you dealt here, that, that magician here, it's not particularly nicely aspected. So it's like someone here was spreading a rumor. Or they trying to kind of present you in a not particularly good light. But with the seven of wands, I feel that you um, kind of stood up for yourself again. And you were telling the truth. Because look, we have an ace of swords, which is truth, clarity. Magician, that communication, Ten of Cups and Seven of Wands. And Ten of Cups is this, of course, it represents like a relationship. I feel that you shared very strong bond with this person. And it might felt like it was a friend. But there was that at the beginning, there was that mutual understanding. That, that person felt at the very beginning like home. but they kind of betrayed your trust. I feel you're dealing here with someone who might be jealous. But gossip here, it's involved in this situation. And you know, I feel that you are very strong with the seven of wands. 
but maybe deeply inside you still kind of feel this uncertainty about the whole situation it's like you did what you could and the rest is you know after the universe but I feel that you uh, you've handled the situation with dignity and you were very very it's like you were true you told this person how they made you feel and that that kind of behavior wasn't fair that's what I am getting because that magician here with the nine of swords and the moon is very manipulative energy and you had to kind of stood up for yourself Leo that's what I am getting but we have this wheel of fortune the moon the... here is the thing Leo if you resonate with this message okay I'm getting very very strongly with the ace of swords there will be some sort of form of communication conversation or oh, it's like putting out there to others and trying to kind of uh, bring clarity to the situation and I can tell you one thing with the will of fortune and the ten of cups and the four of wands you'll be very successful in your undertaking because will of fortune uh, you can expect here that um, that situation will change and it's like you can ex expect a complete change of circumstances regarding this it it can be a you know this this gossip this drama that someone here created why because look the will of fortune here is followed to the it's followed by the ten of cups which is fulfillment happiness joy understanding and then we have a four of wands more happiness and joy it's like people will see your point of view and they will take your side you'll be very successful here regarding this whole situation because it feels like luck it's on your side why because you hold the key to the truth you are telling the truth and it's like I feel that and you're manifesting this truth and and the thing is that I don't see you being in a passive energy actually I feel that you're trying to kind of put the record straight if I can say that way or clear the air regarding this particular matter mm -hmm. because you're standing up for what you believe for what it's you know true And someone here did you wrong. Someone was unfair. This situation will gain clarity. I can tell you that. Mm -hmm. I also see um, Ten of Cups to the Four of Wands <laughs> with the Wheel of Fortune, uh, destined relationship. There is someone here that you kind of feel con connected to it's like a and it's very much destined for both of you to be together or to be in each other's lives but this is a very happy relationship two people being together feeling very close to each other sharing happiness joy you know um, and love for some of you, you will be in a new relationship, Leo. And this is something that is destined for you. And this is something that you truly deserve. I'm getting very strongly, Leo, that there is someone in your life that you truly care about. You might be in touch with this person. And I feel that you're trying to manifest this person. If that's the case, it's, it's, it's coming into fruition. Because that's a beautiful energy. But with regards to this gossip, you have nothing to worry about. Queen of Pentacles, you see, this is stability. You bring a lot to the table. You have so much to offer and it feels like you are minding your own business. I feel that at the same time, you just don't want to give too much to the situation in a sense to this person to kind of, you know, feed on your energy, if I can say it that way, metaphorically saying. 
I feel that you are kind of working behind the scenes, putting, um, clarifying certain um, aspects of the situation with the Ace of Swords and that uh, you can expect here that everything will kind of develop to your satisfaction. So this is very, very positive. Could you please show me love life? Show me love life for Leo. Let's see. We have the Empress, beautiful Empress, the Fool, Four of Pentacles, Chariot, Nine of Wands, and King of Swords. Okay, the Hermit at the bottom of the deck. So, Leo, I have very strong Virgo energy you might have uh, heavy placements in Virgo in your chart but you might be dealing also with Virgo I have Taurus I also have Gemini uh, Aquarius Aries Cancerian energy with the chariot so this is Leo this is an indication here especially with the full that there is a new relationship on the horizon here for you okay I feel that you met someone recently, it might not resonate with all of you, but that's what I am getting, if that's the case. Mm, this person doesn't want to give up on this connection. This is someone who's holding on to you. They will chase you <laughs> with the chariot. They care a lot about you. But this is someone also who've been through a lot. I feel that you're dealing here with an individual um, who's very logical, also, there is some sort of kind of form of practicality attached to this energy. But this is someone who, um, who knows how to communicate, who knows how to put their point across. It's a very logical person. I feel that you didn't hear with someone who might be uh, very intelligent. But with the Nine of Wands, this person been through a lot. And it might be a case that, you know, uh, they might have some sort of kind of trust issues, but um, but this person is very wise, and they they see your value. You see, the thing here is that this person sees you as empress. You might be divine feminine, or you are dealing with divine feminine. But this is someone who sees you, uh, who kind of puts you on a pedestal, <laughs> and. Um, who sees expansion and growth with you it's like they see you as their divine counterpart empress is a beautiful energy you know this is very high vibrational energy this person um they see you as someone who's incredibly beautiful attractive very passionate but it's just like you have it all essentially I feel this is a new situation for some of you if if you haven't met this person this is someone who is showing up in your reading in your energy so I, i'm getting very soon you will meet this person leo the hermit as an overall energy i feel that you know at the moment um you might be in a hermit mode and it is also kind of because it is showing up in your love life section of your reading I feel that you kind of, um, I feel Leo that you are surrounded by many people, but at the end of the day, it's like no one really kind of understands you fully. It's, it's like, um, I feel that, you know, you, I feel that you are a very, very interesting person. You know, if, 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 if I met you, I would be really kind of, you know, very interested in you. Uh, in the sense of what you're about to say, I, I see someone who possesses so much wisdom and who has so much to say. I see that kind of life experience as well. And someone who is like, you know, I feel that you are not a chaser, you are not a runner. And uh, you are very kind of also careful with regards to your energy. 
I'm getting that you are a person who is very selective with your energy, especially at this time. But I feel with the hermit, it's like, you know, you're trying to figure out here something, something significant. And it's like you are um, I don't know how to say it. It's 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 I feel that it's like you're trying to use all the knowledge and wisdom and life experience regarding this particular situation. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't surprise me, for instance, that um, at the moment, with regards to this particular individual, um, maybe contact is not that intense as it used to be, and you've kind of you are in this hermit mode. But um, things going to change because this person, I feel that they will want to meet up, and there will be a communication from this person coming. I mean, it's coming because King of Swords wants to talk. So, but I see you being very kind of also very grounded and very intuitive. I feel that you might be receiving uh, downloads from the universe. You know, Hermit also represents spirit in readings. And it's just, I feel that you are very spiritual. You might be seeing synchronicities, you know. Um, I feel that you pay attention to signs. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, I'm seeing this person uh, coming forward and uh, this is someone who will uh, communicate with you. Because they want to meet up. Leo. Show me the near future please for Leo. So we have four of cups, two of pentacles and five of wands. Knight of cups. I'm getting very strongly here, Leo, that, you know, in the near future, um, I'm seeing that deeply inside you would like to resolve that conflict or that tension represented by the Five of Wands. But it's like with the Four of Cups, it's, I feel that you are not in the mood of making that first move. It's like, mm -mm, I'm not doing that. I was treated very unfairly. This person brought enormous amount of dissatisfaction and disappointment on emotional level um, yeah the thing is here Leo that you don't need to do that because this person is going to uh, they're going to extend the olive branch with the knight of cups in this case represents some sort of kind of it wouldn't surprise me if this person who was gossiping suddenly will make a try to kind of make amends with you because that's a card of an apology or some sort of kind of you know make the situation better between the two of you but um even deeply inside i feel that even if you wanted to kind of the situation to be resolved and this 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 person to stop you know talking some sort of bs and gossiping behind your back uh, I feel that no, you are not in a mood or you are not even considering here to go first and to reach out to them. And the thing is here, Leo, what I am also seeing that this person will reach out because Four of Cups is this energy of someone here trying, you know, um, give that cup of love, right? Meaning that apology in this case, but I don't see that you are actually that much in, you know, I don't feel that you are interested 
and with the two of pentacles you might be feeling well you know maybe i should but but with the five of wands i feel that this person got under your skin and it's like too much damage has been done and there is this tension and i feel that you know it's not the first time you felt that way about this whole situation with this person and it's like well maybe i should just you know to kind of you know resolve the situation once and for all but i'm getting that you kind of coming from the place this person cannot be trusted and you know with the five of wands it's like i feel that this person i would use a certain words but <laughs> but uh, you know i feel that this person made you feel certain way about them you know i feel that there is a frustration anger also i feel that you might be agitated annoyed with their attitude because there is something about attitude and the way this person is is kind of uh, treating other people you see how how this how this lady is just it's just using people like uh pieces on a chessboard and I feel that you're refusing to be one of them and it's like I'm not going to give to this situation with the two of pentacles you might be put in that situation of kind of thinking maybe I should maybe I shouldn't but at the end of the day I feel that you're going to refuse uh, to kind of you know to have anything to do with this individual I'm not I mean I don't see for some of you, it might be a case that you, for the sake of just, you know, the situation to be just resolved in the most positive way, you will accept the, some sort of kind of apology. But it's, it's like, I feel that even if you do that, you are, I feel that with the Four of Cups, you are refusing to kind of give any more time to this, to, to, to this person or to be invested emotionally and energetically in that situation. Because I feel that you see this person for who they truly are and you just don't want to be the part of it. But you can expect this person in the near future here, Leo, trying to kind of make amends or kind of make a move towards you in order to kind of bring more positivity to the situation. Because Knight of Cups, it's, it's a nice energy. It might be a case that this person will, will kind of contact you and they will say, um, do you have time to... You know to go for a coffee shall we talk about the situation something like this i see communication but you know at the end of the day i seeing you just i i really don't want to give any more time you know this person is treating people that way and i mean that's i feel that's your perception you know and it's just uh four of cups is this energy of i'm not interested this is this is rejection this is no it's just no no and the thing is that i feel that you are coming from the place Leo, that you don't know what to expect from this person because two of pentacles is that kind of juggling situation it's it's this is instability and i feel this is this you don't at the end of the day I feel that you don't know what to expect from this person because you might be dealing here with someone who's very moody and they act in accordance of their mood they might be in you know and that's what i am getting show me the outcome The thing is the truth is on your side here, Leo, because you have this Ace of Swords. An Ace of Swords is a triumph of clarity, truth and honesty and integrity. Queen of Wands, show me the outcome for Leo. We have a Hanged Man. And we have a knight of swords the lovers at the bottom of the deck mm. i have very strong pisces gemini energy you see i see you being very kind of um very diplomatic 
about the whole situation in general. In your out, I, I, we see in your outcome, we have this hangman. I feel that you are waiting on the right moment. It's like I feel that you are kind of see this whole situation from a different perspective, and it's like you know that you kind of have to act in a different way. And I feel that you are taking your time, but it doesn't mean that, you know, uh, the right time won't come and you won't express something here that needs to be addressed because you will. That's the thing. That Knight of Swords, it's ready to approach someone because I feel that at the end of the day, you feel that something here needs to be addressed. But, you know, with the Queen of Wands, I'm getting that you are minding your own business again. That's also your energy, Queen of Wands, Leo. You are very passionate here. You, you are very ambitious. And I feel that you are completely and utterly in control. You are. I, you see, I, when I look at this card, I feel that you see a direct kind of, you know, you know your, um, you know your, you know how to approach the situation. And the thing is that I feel that you know many people are involved in that situation, and it's like they are represented uh, by this. We have a dragonfly. We have. Um, by those flying creatures that say it that way, okay? Metaphorically saying, and I feel that this is like a metaphor of people involved in that situation. And you are holding this beautiful um, sunflower here, but it's like the sunflower, it's, it's giving a light. You know what I mean? So it's like you are bringing enlightenment to the situation. I feel that you are, in touch here with many people and you trying to kind of put light what it's true and what it's false with regards to the situation and you'll be and i feel that you know you you are taking your time i see no action i see you being very patient and when it's when the time will come i feel that you'll be ready to approach or to kind of you know uh to address something Mm -hmm. but um, I'm seeing you um, actively trying to put the record straight if, if that makes sense to kind of tell people that this is not true that it's completely not true N yeah mm -hmm. overall energy the lovers love happiness relationship you know <laughs> also uh, you know i feel that you will face some sort of kind of decision maybe you are facing a decision or dilemma regarding love related situation here leo but this card suggests that you share very strong soul connection with someone and i feel that this feeling of love and kind of passion attraction it's mutual and um, and in the near future I see uh, that actually you might be kind of focusing on a love related situation but uh, it feels that you know we've been wondering if this person has feelings for you you can be reassured that they indeed have feelings for you yeah, that, that feeling of love or kind of belonging or that strong bond that you feel with this person is mutual. So you have someone here who share uh, this, this feeling of, of love really with you. Leo, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly appreciate you. Leo, have a fantastic and absolutely wonderful day. And once again, thank you very, very much for being with me. I, 
I really truly appreciate you. <laughs> Leo, much love. Till next time. Take care. Bye.